Okay, we have another one with some dyed division. This one, we have a fifth power, a cube, and an x. So they are written with descending powers. However, again, we have a lot of terms that are missing here. We don't have the fourth term. We don't have the square term. We don't have the number on the end. All those are going to have to be replaced with zeros. So before we do the setup, we always want to make sure that this is set up properly. I have 2x to the fifth, and whenever you have a term missing, you want to put in a zero placekeeper for that one. So I'm going to put in a 0x to the fourth. And then I have the cube that's there. The square we're missing. So I'm going to put a 0x squared in there. The 14x is there. But then I don't have the number on the end. So you also need to put a, a 0 on the end. And the reason why is because without that 0, you wouldn't actually be able to figure out your remainder. You need to have the 0 there because that's what gets added together uh, when you have your columns. Okay, so we have all of this. And all this here is divided by x minus 2. So this is, this is written out properly now. So we're going to do the setup with our synthetic. You're going to take opposite sign of that number. Negative 2, you make it positive 2. We put that inside of the box. Now that we have it written properly, we're going to write all this out, including the zeros. It's the coefficients only. So I have 2, 0, negative 6, 0, negative 14, 0. So I have all that. And I have my line on the bottom there. This is the correct setup. Three zeros in there for place keepers. That way we're, we're guaranteed to be adding the correct numbers together all the way through. The zero on the end guarantees we get our remainder. Drop the two down. That's your first step. Drop the two straight down. You multiply these two numbers together. Two times two is four. Goes underneath uh, the, the next zero in the next column. Add that together. Always doing addition is your operation there. We have a four. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. Goes underneath the next column. Add that together, you get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. That goes underneath the next column, in the next column. Add that together, you get 4. Multiply that, you get 8. If you add that together, negative 14 plus 8 gives you negative 6. We have to do one more to get a remainder. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Add that together and you get negative 12 as your answer. This one again on the end, that's always going to be your remainder. So that's that, that part right there. And then for quotient, we need to take this and turn it into a polynomial by putting the x's back in. Uh, the highest power was originally a 5. So when I rewrite this, it's going to be 2x, and I have to drop this power down by 1. It was a fourth, fifth power, we want to make it a fourth power. Then the rest of them, you just do descending powers all the way down from there. So I do plus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. This whole thing here is going to be your quotient. Okay, so writing out the whole thing, if they want the whole thing written out um, as a complete fraction here, you're going to write it all out like this, minus 6. And then your remainder is negative 12. What you can do is you can put a minus sign here and then put 12 over x minus 2. Or you can put a plus and then put the minus on top there. That's okay as well. But if they want the whole entire answer written out, then this is it right here. Otherwise, remainder negative 12 quotient is going to be this one.